Today, it begins. Deus Volt. So we're finally going to go on the offensive, I think, and I, I'm going to go for, this might sound very, very strange, I think we're going to swing for Olympus. Why Olympus? They're massive, they're super powerful, like I said yesterday, they are absolutely the biggest obstacle here for any sort of expansion for, well, to be fair, anybody, but, but mainly us. 67,000 men, they are arguably the most powerful realm in the world right now. Now, Russia did beat them last time, but that's because Zeus stretched himself out way too thin. In terms of the land they've got, clearly Central Italy and obviously the Byzantine Empire is better than, you know, all these random lands up in Siberia, which really have nothing, nothing going for them at all there. So, Zeus is still the most threatening. How are we going to deal with Zeus? Well, I think it's going to be twofold. First things first, we're going to send China after them. I am expecting China to lose. In fact, I'm relying on it. China have, if we take a look at Zeus here, uh, Zeus has, six, what's that, 67,000 men. He's got all of his god abilities, giving him double damage, double defense, double levy size. Um, along with his insane amount of martial, of course, everybody else within his family also leading his troops. China are just China. The dragon gods of China have been kicked out now. It's just the Mongol Empire, the, the worshippers of Tengri. In fact, it's Tengri's son, but doesn't have any god abilities. I guess he wanted to put a human son on a human throne or something along those lines. This is the blood of Tengri, though. These guys are not going to be that damaging. In fact, I imagine they're going to get absolutely wiped out. China is going to be there just as a distraction. We, while China are doing that, are going to sweep in and try and grab as much land as possible as quickly as possible. I'm thinking a two-pronged attack. We send Archangel of Baguette. We send ourselves. We send all the troops over to Constantinople itself. Land and attack while their troops are away. They've got a garrison size of 2,600. That's actually not a huge amount. We can field... Honestly, I think if we want to sink some cash into it, we could field 20,000 men and just assault it down immediately. While we're doing that, we'll send our forces, our actual levies, because of course you can't, we, 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 we can storm that with right news and mercenaries. But with our levies, we'll have to raise them and obviously bring them over. Those guys will aim for the Italian parts of Olympus here. Ideally, we'd like to connect our borders back up to the HRE, because I'm a little bit scared having those guys on the other side of, you know, Asgard and Alba and Olympus here. So if we can connect our borders back up, I'm thinking maybe we go for, like, the Duchy of Savoy. Maybe we could go for, I don't know, actually, what, what, what Casas Bella have we got against Zeus right now? Press all claims. Claim Genoa. Um, we can claim Tuscany as well. Interesting. So we have quite a sizable claim against Zeus. Now we could always... We could do a Holy War, don't get me wrong. And to be honest, going against war with Zeus will just be a Holy War regardless. So we could pick any duchy. But maybe we should farm up some claims and try and get the whole thing in one swoop. Because China are only going to be able to attack once in a while. You know, this is going to be a big... And I've got a plan for how we're going to get China on board as well, by the way. In the meantime, though, we are doing penance. But we'll, we'll sort out all the details in a second. That's just an outline of the plan. I cannot make sense of this passage in the Bible. The words are archaic and blah, 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 blah. We're doing secluded penance. Yesterday, we lost. We failed against the war against Perun. His people stormed the HR in. It was a flower war, so it wasn't a big deal. They're still winning there. We can't really do much to help them. So we are going to figure this out. And instead, oh my god, we gained... Of course we did. Erudite immediately, perfectly interprets the Bible. This is a message from the Lord God himself. And Tissident extremely, once again, filled with that religious vigor and zeal that we once had a couple of episodes ago. We've lost a trait crew. We're back. Oh my god, he's, he's, he's turning back into his into his previous glorious self. Uh, okay, but I should probably also unmark all of his characters' special interest, huh? So the one thing we need is essentially just a massive mountain of gold. Now, we do have a mountain of gold because I did banish all of our courtiers, and obviously when you banish courtiers, for whatever reason, you get to take all of their gold off of them. I also apparently sold some warehouse artifacts we got. So as part of the Great Trade League mod, you can get decorations for your warehouse. If you're not part of the Trade League, there is an option in the interim menu to sell them off. So I sold off a set of gold and armor for 200 gold as well. Currently sitting at 2,700 gold. Not too bad. I think for the time being, then, we don't actually need to get involved in any Holy Wars. We need to focus on taking back some land for Catholicism right now. It's all, all well and good to be defending the HRE in what is essentially an unwinnable war because, you know, we're a just and pious guy, but it's not going to help us in the long term. So we'll ignore that one for the time being. Now, I've picked an artifact that is kind of a weird one to try and steal because we are off of high school down. I'm going to go for the Jade Dragon, which is a rare Chinese artifact. And I'm not stealing this with the intent to send it to China because, of course, it's a Chinese artifact anyway. This one gives a tax modifier of 10%. Might not seem like much, but if we're not fighting in 
if, if we're not being hired as a holy order to help defend the faith, our gold income is going to be much, much lower. This gives a flat national tax of plus 10%, which is quite significant. Not only that, it gives us prestige, gives us diplomacy. It's a decent artifact to be grabbing up right now. The other one I'd generally try and go for, and the other one I'd really actually want to go for right now would be the Ark of the Covenant, because that gives damage, morale, defense, morale, um, all, all sorts of bonuses regarding combat. That one is still over in Abyssinia. We need to come up with some sort of plan to get some land on Africa here so that we can get over to Abyssinia. Now, hmm, maybe a change of plan is not a bad idea. What if we take this land? Who's he rebelling against? Uh, he's defending against this dude. We could quickly grab up part of Northern Africa so that we're in the same realm as, because I believe right now, Chaos control the uh, control the Ark of the Covenant. It's not House of Pophis themselves. In fact, Egypt have uh, managed to got them get, get them under control right now. Uh, let's see if we can do this up. This actually might be a much better plan in hindsight. Ark of the Covenant. Plus, it's obviously one of the most recognizable Christian artifacts. So this guy is kind of in central Abyssinia there, central Ethiopia. Um, I don't know if this province would put us within Diplo range, but we might as well try it. They've apparently got a werewolf problem too. I'm, I'm going to go for this. You know what? Forget the trade dragon plan for a while. We'll keep this person on special interest because that is still obviously a very, very valuable artifact. Can't declare war. Have we got troops raised? No valid castles bell. Oh, really? We can't do holy wars. Okay, then. That's uh, that's put a dent in things. How quickly can we fabricate claims, do you think? 43% chance yearly. Um, okay. So let's go and recruit a good diplomat. The best we can find. I imagine there are plenty of Catholic diplomats looking to get, you know, shelter and safety on our on our glorious fortress island. Speaking of which, there's our good friend, Ladislav. What a Ladislav. Bring him on board. He should have... It's still not going to be a 100% chance to fabricate yearly, but it's going to be closer to 70-80% there. We might be able to grab this. Oh, we made progress to independence. We might be able to grab this northern province in Africa before before they managed to take it, before Albert managed to grab it in their holy war. Though I am somewhat concerned because that, looking at it, is the only province in Africa we could potentially take. What about the Canary Islands? I still don't think that would count. We could start fabricating claims very far south, but again, if they're out of Diplo range, that's going to be impossible. Um, right, sorry, my son, you are fired for the time being. Oh, he's here, but we can't apparently make him our chancellor? Why? Okay, never mind then. I guess we'll try and find someone else. All right, so I had to go for my second option here. It's a guy with 22 uh, diplomacy, 50% chance yearly. How long is it going to take these guys to be able to grab this province realistically? Probably not much time at all. Although, it is the king of that place that I'm not going to try and pronounce that is trying to take this province. It might take them a long time to actually get the trips over here. Not only that, they are in another war as well. They're defending against Denmark. Um, in fact, Denmark are winning against them. So we might be able to snatch this up because they're heavily distracted. We also apparently have an invasion, huh? Another one, Cordobra coming for us this time. We fought off the wrath of whoever it was down in very southern Andalusia there in Seville. How's Comreig? Now we've got another one to deal with. Re... So that, that guy of Cordoba. Fine. When is he going to get here by? 18th of July, 1135. We might be on a defensive war then. At least until... Yeah, if we get this claim... Oh my god, we actually got it already. We actually got it already. Okay. Now we go for it. This is all to be able to set up a choke point so that we can take the Ark of the Covenant Indiana Jones style. And that's going to give us so many bonuses. If you haven't seen the Ark of the Covenant, I'll quickly go over that in a second. Hey, maybe we should declare war first, huh? Um, right, here we go. Goodbye, my friend. I'm sorry. I know that you're in the middle of a sort of messy war right now. Zero percent. And we got the Dutch. I didn't even realize. I thought it was just the province. Right, let's do it. Now, the good thing is, this is just more land for us, right, at the end of the day. We've not really lost any land besides that first war with Olympus, and that wasn't a war against us. That was a war against our liege, the HRE, who we couldn't really defend ourselves at that stage. We weren't as in, in, encamped as we are right now on the islands. So, oh, a crusade for Italy. Um, can you wait until I can get this? All right, we might have to launch the China plan earlier. Pope Innocentius Bonaparte is launching the... Oh my god, okay. This is not what I was hoping. Obviously, this is the type of thing we wanted to do, but this is way too early. We're not prepared yet. So, let's let's put this on the back. Let's, let's just pause a second. Let me talk about the China plan. So, the China plan was going to be very straightforward, and it was actually suggested by... It was actually suggested by someone in the comments yesterday. They had a, a fantastic idea. The sword retribution, we can have another one commissioned whenever the hell we want, right? We can just immediately... 42 learning, by the way. We can just immediately craft another sword for 750 gold with exactly the same stats. It is our ancestral sword and it's built the blood of many pagans, but if we ship it off to China, we can... Oh, we can't right now. They're in Great Famine. Uh, or... Oh, we're doing seclusion. Right, so we've got to wait for our penance to end. 
when is the crusade? I mean, if no one joins it, it's not going to fire anyway, is it? But the point is, what I was going to say is, is we'll send this sword off to China. That will give us the 5,000 Arda we need to actually be able to invade things. So we'll send China, obviously, with that, with that sword favor over to Olympus to just cause a bit of a mess, a bit of a distraction. Now, the Pope is probably going to cancel the crusade because we're probably the only fucking people who are ever going to join it. Um, we can set our recipient to, to us. I feel like that would be best, although it's very greedy and self-serving, it, it, we are doing it for the faith. We're doing it in defense of the faith. We are the only Holy Order left really doing anything. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave it like that. Total strength, 17%. Man, we're already 20% into his strength, huh? And he's got all of that land. It's not going to happen. We've got, we've got another two years. It, it's, it's definitely going to be cancelled before we even get to that stage. For the time being, let's focus on this, uh, let's focus on this Holy Wars, trying out the Ark of the Covenant, because that will obviously help out against the Crusade against Zeus either way. I think that's probably more than enough troops. The time is of the essence with this one, because if if Alba turn up and try and grab this province, then it's really going to screw us, because there's no way in hell we can get another foot in the door with Africa. Let's just drop there and immediately kill them all. You want to reconverse this? Right, we are now out of seclusion. Let's work on these many goals at the same time then. So China, you get an artifact. We'll send them retribution, 5,000 grace. We'll immediately forge another copy of retribution. Perfect. We can't request an invasion yet because they have a famine. Damn it. Um, They need to be stable or golden age. Yeah, does not have expansionist as well. They're focusing on their own. So this is going to take some time before they are ready. We can also request a Chinese horse. There is a, this is a kind of a cool system. There is a 1% chance to gain an extremely rare horse. I was playing some multiplier testing this out the other day, and, and one of the people I was playing with got it on their first attempt. It's very, it's an insanely powerful artifact. I'm talking like 50% morale damage, 50% morale bonus. That is something we should try and get over the long term. It's basically like this, this, this Chinese, I don't know, red horse. I don't know if that's some sort of, uh, don't know if that's some sort of Chinese myth or legend or something along those lines. Okay, so the China plan and the Crusade, hopefully. China stopped being expansionist over the course of the next two years. And I'm also hoping... Oh, you know what? This could work. All the Holy Orders are pledged. And then we've got sort of some random persons here. Still only 17%. My God, were we not 12% by ourselves? Are we really that powerful at this stage? Either way, let's get this art. This is our main focus for the time being. My wish to become a better Catholic has led me to the rule of St. Benedict. We've gained humble back. My God, we are becoming that true Christian knight that we were that we were setting out to be here. Hopefully, we will get that back as well. The, the Galahad modifier would be very, very cool. It doesn't really do a huge amount, I will admit, but it would be kind of nice. Is this their armies? Speak of the devil. Uh, don't speak of the devil. I've said this before. Speak of the angel, he shall appear. I devote myself to the service of the church. We have gained true Christian knight. Temple of Vassal Opinion plus plan, monthly party, and of course, 50 prestige. We are once again Galahad. That's awesome. That's very, very cool. We had a daughter. I'm sorry, bastard granddaughter. I'm not even going to look at you because you're not even in line to inherit. I'm going to be honest here. We're never going to ever see you. Right, so now we've got a slight concern. Oh, I was going to say we haven't had any major battles, but apparently that counted. Really? All right, well, there we go. Force demands. This was only half the battle. We still might not be able to steal the Ark of the Covenant. And even if we can steal the Ark of the Covenant, we still need to actually steal the Ark of the Covenant. Let's go take a look. So I believe it was, what was it, you guys who had it? Um, oh man, it would be so much easier just to go to the back to the character finder, wouldn't it? And just dig up. Yeah, you know what? This is a waste of time. Ark of the... What? Oh, whoa, whoa. Join court set to yes. Holy shit. Talk about giving me a heart attack. Is that demon a priest? Oh, he's a demon priest. Right, I thought he I thought he converted to Catholicism. Covenant. There it is. Okay. Still out of Diplo range. God damn it. Um. Okay. How do we get to Diplo range then? Well, we could daisy chain provinces. So we'll wait for our chancellor to come off of cooldown. And then we'll start fabricating claims somewhere down here. That would definitely put us within Diplo range. We're, we're, we're basically, you know, a couple of countries away there. Um, or would it, would it give us within Diplo range? I don't know, but we're going to have to try it. Oh, man, we can fabricate claims, like, right here. Would I? That puts us in a neighboring province. Then we are definitely within Diplo range. Although, I think it's determined by your capital, isn't it? I think it's determined by your capital. We'll try it either way. You know, we've got to try it. Either I mean, what, what are we going to do? Let the Ark of the Covenant just sit idly in the hands of heathens and heretics and not actually try and get it back? Crusade Beneficiary, I wanted to give it to me. Um, I was stick to my previous decision. Yeah, I mean, we can still we can still pick a beneficiary, I guess. But obviously, we're going to take all the titles there. Fine. Do you want to pledge some gold? Do you want to pledge some some prestige, some piety? Of course. Uh, I will send to you guys a grand gift befitting my station. Um, I want to I want to give like prestige there, my friend. I don't really want to give I don't really want to give fifteen hundred gold, seeing as we want to launch our own wars right now. That's a real shame. All right, doesn't matter too much. Sure, there is a method of doing that. I'll, I'll sort of click around in a minute and sort of see what we can find here. 
Still can upgrade that one. So I need to be sinking a bit more cash into upgrading the holdings as well, which I'll try and do as soon as possible. Firstly, let's craft ourselves a fresh sword. Uh, where is the option? Oh my god, please tell me we can't only craft one. What have I done? I've sent my ancestral sword to China. I want to change the plan. Let's not upgrade anything. We... I, th I think this campaign, this crusade is actually going to fire for once. I feel like we're, we're actually going to stand a decent chance. 26% power. We're not that strong at all. In fact, it's going to be a really, really hard-fought battle. China are still in their famine. They're still expansionist. 282 days. What can we do over the course of the next 282 days to maximize our... To just maximize our strength, really? Um, we still can steal an artifact. So let me see if I can dig up any rare Christian artifacts to bring along with us. Because that might help things out here. So I found someone of interest here. My good friend, Paddler the Distrustful... I don't know who he is, but he seems to be some sort of quite uh, influential dynasty here. He's got a bloodline, the Blood of Bagrat, one of the oldest Christian dynasties in the world. And I happen to try and look for a particular artifact, and that's the Crown of Thorns. In this man's inventory is the Crown of Thorns. I remember yesterday pointing this out and not really doing anything about it. I hope we weren't able to invite him to court since yesterday, huh? But this guy, if we find a way... Now, I'm not going to kill this man. That is not the Christian way. But the Crown of Thorns does give 5% levy size. It does give plus 2 diplomacy, prestige, piety, revolt risk, whatever else. Same religion opinion, plus 15, by the way, which is huge. That's gigantic. Every Christian ruler is going to love us at that stage. That is basically now safely within our realm. Because I very much doubt he's going to leave in a, in a hurry, seeing as he's, he's from... I mean, he is, he's from the Byzantine Empire. So he's definitely not going to go back there in a hurry. He's lost all his lands and titles. He's unmarried. Man, how can we... How can we take that off of you? I mean, he's orthodox, so he's technically a different religion. Fine, we'll wait for him to come out of hiding. Maybe we'll just imprison him and take the artifacts off of him because he, sh he is not worthy to handle Jesus' crown. So I found a couple more artifacts that might be of interest to you. Oh, also I married the first person in our court with high uh, high stewardship there. She is 42, but we're also celibate, so it didn't really matter too much. Um, you know, plus she's got those good administrative capabilities, so she'll help all the refugees that come to our land and things like that. So first things first, I thought to myself, we've got... Oh, that's the Jade Dragon, ignore that one. We've got uh, the Seamless Robes of Jesus. That is, We've seen that one before. Prince Bishop Albrecht of Trier, apparently a possessed, very, very sinful man. Proud, envious, cynical, honest. Uh, wicked. He leads a life of sin. So if we were, we aren't, we aren't off of cooldown yet, but when we are, we could try and liberate that. But then I thought there's actually an upgraded version, Seamless Robes of Jesus, which is also in game. Grave Ludwig, Ludovinger, has the Shroud of Jesus right there. National levy size plus 5% is pretty significant. Now, I kind of think these Catholic artifacts are just being shuffled around randomly to anyone, because like I said, we've got two Crown of Thorns. Don't even know how that happens. One is definitely fake. Question is which one? Probably the one with the mercenary band, you'd assume, rather than the one that's come out of the Byzantine Empire, because I believe the Crown of Jesus always spawns in the Byzantine Empire, doesn't it? Anyway, um, we have a decent lineup of artifacts, and of course we've got that other dude now with the, uh, with the Crown of Thorns. It'd be kind of nice if you would just die. I mean, we could imprison him and obviously revoke it. Although he is, he's zealous, but he is orthodox, which is doesn't really line up with us, huh? White peace. Oh my god, we actually did do some good work. Without us, that would have been a that that they would have been destroyed. We managed to get the white a white peace for the Holy Roman Empire. I'm taking full credit for that because I genuinely believe we did enough damage there to to cripple them. Holy shit! Wow, that's big. So, how long until this crusade then? We've got 222 days. The war is now over. You're welcome, by the way. D please don't cancel it. Come on, we can, we can win this. We've got 2,700 of Satan in heaven. Good work. Blessed Rhino, the confessor of Loon. A, a, a gallant man. A glorious man. And his pleasure to us all. I agree. There's fault. 2,600 gold means we could hire the bloody Roman legions to come and help us out here. In fact, we could hire most of the strongest mercenary bands. We can get the German company and we can get the Roman legions. That's like another 30,000 men. That's another 30,000 men right there. That, on top of what we've already got, bearing in mind we have just been sitting around reinforcing for quite some time now, we alone have, like, 24,000 men too. And we are definitely, we're definitely training troops in the capital. Good. Let's just make sure it is the capital that needs reinforcing, right? Um, you know what? Either the capital or Sanctus Day would do it as well. Provence also could do it with some reinforcements, but he is just one simple archangel. We can't have him everywhere. Um, I'm kind of happy to keep him there for the time being, though, because, of course, we have both mostly fully upgraded. We have mostly fully upgraded Citadel of the first, uh, the first dawn there. Fine. Now, we wait, we build up as much gold as possible, and we pray. Oh, man. I know I said I wanted to save gold, but we can make the Citadel of the first uh, Provencal and Catholic there for 512 gold. 
it would finally become a, a bastion of the Catholic faith, because right now it's still sunny, don't forget. Make it so. Now that gives us access to our cultural buildings too. So I wonder what the cultural... Oh, jousting. We get knights. Oh, that's cool. Okay, I can deal with that. Thank you. Wow, that was that was very convenient. Although we could have really done with that 500 gold right now. Is there anything else I can do just as a sort of final thing? Borrow a bunch of money. We could take out a shit ton of gold. Ransom out the prisoners too. It's only 35 gold. Hey, it might make a difference here. Laws. We could we could flip a law maybe. Um, let's take a look. Realm. Militarization. Now apparently this one. Um, holy orders can become mercenary bands. Somebody said take a look at this one. Has the law lenient and harsh? I don't know what you want. Somebody said take a very close look at this one. Because there's something I should be reading here. We can become we can become mercenary bands, but we won't become a mercenary band. It's not like it's going to force us on that one. Um, yeah, okay, that's fine. I, th I think we're good with that. Lenient is going to double our levy size. Le National levy size is minus 30% right now. If we go for lenient, it's minus 15%. Uh, so absolutely, let's do that as soon as possible. I assume everybody's in support, because of course they are undecided. Galileto Madness. Thank you, appreciate that one. Bring them on board. This should pass. That's going to double our troops. And then Zeus, I honestly think... We do stand a fighting chance here. Now, China, are you ready? China is still not ready. That's a real shame. Well, we'll have to rely on them later on. Maybe those guys could pick apart Asgard or maybe even Alba. Alba would be a good bet in hindsight, huh? Let's rank up. We're going to become Commissus right on cue for this crusade to start in approximately... Fine. I'll launch my own crusade. I don't need you guys. I'll launch my own goddamn crusade. Oof. That is a big problem here. 44,000 men. This is a formal declaration of war. Our army shall meet on the field of battle. My god, won't they just... And it's just a prepared invasion, I assume, of, of, of the islands here. Fine. How long until that fortress is built, by the way? It's only 30% done. Okay, this could take some time. What do we want to do? The military strategy, the Bible managing realm, or the small talk? Let's go for military strategy. That seems to be our forte, huh? You want to make converses? Oh my god, he's giving us a saint's finger bone. Thank you, I appreciate that. It's not fantastic. So... I figured let's start, let's start, you know, let's start going for our own holy war in this case. We're going to try and fabricate a claim on every goddamn province in Italy. It's going to be very expensive. We've already got claims on Genoa and Tuscany. We're going to start work on Piedmont. We will try and get all the duchy level titles here and try and kick Olympus fully out of Italy. That way, I think we've got a nice, easy time of uniting the rest of it. You know, Asgard might be here, but they're from so far away. Whatever's left of the Satanic Church, I mean, they've just been absolutely beaten over the head with things. They really didn't stand a goddamn chance, huh? Speaking of not standing a goddamn chance, now we've got to try and rebel these guys once again. What do you want? Um, he wants, oh, Prince, the Prince of the Holy Roman Empire to marry my daughter. Done. Absolutely. Uh, let them in. <laughs> let me in. Let Tell us more about this mythical realm of Hindustan. Now is not the time. Thank you. I accept your gift. Let's raise our troops. So what we're going to do is the usual tactic of sort of embanking ourselves on one of the island, luring them over to the other one. Oh, they actually do have some troops over here, huh? Well, in that case, let's very quickly get Brother Labaget and... Uh, where are you, Labaget? Stop training troops for a second, my friend. Let's get him on the center. Let's get us on that side. And let's quickly reinforce that. There we go. Done. Thank you. He was actually leading troops there, so we might have been able to capture him in that first battle and end the war right then. That would have been insane. They're bringing troops from where exactly? Where the hell did those troops go? Oh, my God. They've got more troops over there. Wow, I'm going to disband those guys because they are just waiting to die at this stage. Fine, let's pick them off piece by piece. This is this is really good for us. If they keep on fighting these tiny little battles like this, we are always going to win. We've, we've got them on every every turn at this point. So, a couple of ways we can make them out here. We can stick our troops on the boats, at which point they will try and attack, at which point we can land our troops again, I assume. Does movement lock work coming off of boats? I actually don't remember off the top of my head, but that is a that is a legitimate tactic, you know, getting on the boat so they think there's no one there. They'll land, you know, maybe a small amount of troops there. Also, can you guys not? I'm going to stand these guys down as well because they're just basically going to get annihilated because I'm not paying attention to the 13 troops, I'll be honest. Um, oh, there they are. Okay, they, they're, they're here. Right then, uh, split the troops. We're going to have to be careful now because we once again don't have enough boats. In fact, I'm just going to hire a couple more boats here. There we go. That'll do it. Right, get into the boats. All of you, all of you welcome aboard. Merge together and perfect. Right. 14,000 men. It's not enough. I mean, it's really not enough to be fine. Apparently, we've, we've hired a dragon pirate. Captain Cetus, the talker of the Mediterranean pirates. Incredible. Right, okay. 21,000. Oh, my God. This is overwhelming. This is already overwhelming. Let them split apart. Let them split apart. They're dying of attrition anyway. We'll land here and annihilate them. Okay. This could be good. Pause. They're going to attack us. We're at half morale, though. Is there anywhere we can go? Get back on the boats for the time being, huh? I'd rather land and get our morale up first. Oh my god, they've only got 14,000 men left. Cruise the morale. Hold. And attack. 
We've got him. I, I think we've genuinely got him at this point. Oh, look at that. They don't stand a goddamn chance with crappy, crappy garbage tactics like that, huh? Reinforce, 82%. Right, to retake Provence, and I, I imagine we've already done with this. Then we can actually go on the offensive like I said we would. Ah, they're actually going for the island too. Bring the boats round. Let's go and... And I, I like having this many boats. It would be good to upgrade some of our ports as well in our capital, because this, uh, this is working a lot better. Gage in religious debate. I think of anybody to debate against it, it definitely don't, doesn't want to be anticipating extremely the true steel with his 42 friggin' learning there. Excellent. Let's land these boats. Come on, 90% war score. That'll do it. Battle of Valencia. I thought we better go on the offensive there a little bit. Thank you. I will take your mountain of cash. Don't get me wrong. I'm really happy when they do declare these invasions on us because they, they are very much underestimating us. Not taking into account that we've got all these sort of crazy stats and traits and whatever else from the chivalry mod. Gaston, welcome aboard my good friend. Ah, oh, Marshall, wait. Um, Marshall. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where has he gone? Brother... Wait, 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 La Bag. No. Did La Baguette die? <gasps> Who assassinated Archangel La Baguette? They've banished him. Oh my god, what a massive loss. They banished him. Well, we are trying to learn summoning magic right now, so maybe we can bring him back at some stage. Unbelievable! Drown in my sorrows is my friend Archangel Baguette's recent passing. Oh my God! What a loss. Um. Okay. Wow, that's that's actually genuinely really bad because he was he was really happy. Don't get me wrong; it's, it's our guy. Like I said, with the orders of chivalry mods, crazy religious bonuses here that are, that is keeping this army together as long as we're fighting religious enemies. Of course, that is um, pull one out in the chat, man. That is some serious big f right there. How far they've fallen? The current lord of of their, their, their clan, if you want to refer to them that, as the Pantheon, has no God's word left. It's all dried up. There are still gods within their Pantheon alive, though, so we do have to be somewhat careful. Uh, I believe it's you have some living children who are still full-blooded gods. So we've still got to be somewhat careful here. But you know what? I think, we, I think we've got to go on vengeance. I don't think it's the Christian way, but I'm, I'm going on full-blown full vengeance here. Archangel of Baguette, you will not be forgotten. You will, we will never forget you, my friend. I might as well get rid of this hired ship, seeing as I only bought them for the boats anyway. Build up the retinues. We, we've got the money. Let's, let's rebuild the retinues as much as possible. Um, why don't we go for... I'm going to go for... I'm going to go for cavalry again. Cavalry, uh, cavalry's or knights. Um, well, I mean, they seem fairly identical to me. I'm going to be completely frank. You know what? I'm going for defense retinues. I feel like that's more... I feel like it's more apt. Plus, defense retinues are statistically very, very powerful anyway. Oh, the hell hath no fury like an angel scorn. I don't think that's really the expression, is it? We can't even go to war with them because we're a truce breaker right now. Um, lowering all pagan rulers' op opinions of us. What do we care about the, the, the thoughts and feelings of pagans? My wish to become a better Catholic has led me to rule of the Saint Benedict following the footsteps of blah, blah, blah. Are we now done? Whoa, 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 whoa. Virtuous, one, two, three, four, five, six. What do we need? Uh, we've got diligent, patient, charitable, chaste. What are we missing? Um, wait, don't tell me what we're missing. We are missing... I just can't... I can't remember what we're missing here. Um, temperate. We're missing temperate. Right, okay, so that won't take too long to get, hopefully. Because we are doing nothing but penance. And um, you know who else is going to do penance? It's... it's God damn, it's... These... Alright, let's do it. Archdruid, Domino the Second. I will show you fire and blood, my friend. Sardinia? I think that one should be mine. I think that one should belong to the Catholic faith once again. Remember the old, this is for the Knights Templar, this is for Brother Labaget, and this is for the whole of the goddamn Catholic world. Get on these boats, boys. We've got a, we've got a holy water going day as well. We'll start by going for Sardinia itself. We'll get ticking war score, and then we're going to swing for their capital with everything we've got. Now, our guy is currently doing penance, trying to, trying to continue finding the light of God once again. So we've got to be very careful with how we do this. We've got 2,600 gold. Realistically, if we need to hire holy orders, we can hire holy orders. God has shown me the light. It's working. It's working. He's going to come back with it with incredibly powerful religious vigor there. Uh, devastated by the loss of his great friend, Brother Labaguette. Engagement theological. Do not do not even question us on theological debate. How could you even try and debate us theologically? Have you seen us? This man? Oh, he converted to Catholic. I'm a good friend with the crown of thorns. Converted to Catholic. He's 22. I'm hoping at some stage he may... Maybe the Lord will seek fit to take him over to the kingdom of heaven. And then we could maybe inherit the crown of thorns. No pressure. Making more progress doing penance there. 32% war score. This is going to be a walk in the park. Are they, even, are they even threatening us? Are they even going to try and do anything to stop us here? I'm just going to just get rid of these troops very briefly as well. Um, who else have we got? We've got some more troops coming down from God knows where. This is incredible. We've just got like random castles and provinces just, just completely in the middle of nowhere. Now, I'm not going to do any more assaults because it is costing us quite a heavy amount of troops. And of course, we don't actually have too many troops right now. We're not 
Getting the trail honest. We're becoming very pious and very holy. Who'd have thought that joining a holy order would do that, huh? And now we are ready to go up to the rank of Conversus. Stewardship plus three. Temple build cost modifier is down a lot. We should really focus on upgrading those. Can we as a holy order hold temples? It doesn't kind of make sense that we couldn't, right? Yeah, no, we absolutely can't. That would well, be kind of a change I'd like to see if we, if we could hold, you know, maybe if, if mercenary bands could hold tribal and if if holy orders could hold temples. That, that would make perfect sense. As the stars align, the boundaries between this world and beyond weaken. This is the perfect time for summoning and divination. I will summon, I will ask local spirits to bless the crops or I will seek advice from my... Uh, we're, not, we're never going to do that. We're never summoning a demon, I refuse. We could try and summon Brother Love again. And of course, when we become a full-blown summoner... As we make progress, we can summon down hordes of angels, as long as the Lord permits it, of course. 49. They are, they, right, they're launching a counterattack. Now we get back to our island and we stop them dead in their tracks. How do we want to do it? Do we want to just land and pray? Because they have a lot of troops there. Who's leading their armies? Is there any way to find out? He, he is. He is, or at least he's on a subunit. Is one of the gods leading armies, though? Because that would be, oh, where are you? He is. Um... This is very dangerous. This is very, very dangerous. I think we need some reinforcements then. I'm thinking Roman legions. I'm thinking Roman legions. We just stay on the assault for as long as we can afford the goddamn guys. To be fair, we can definitely afford them here. Um, right, we need boats. We need many, many boats. Give me, give me your boats. 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 Right, bring them together. How many troops have we got? 13,000. Right, okay, here's the plan. Drop these off here. They are going to take the capital. Not really much I can do about that, unfortunately. You guys come here. Where are those? Oh, they're, 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 there are those boats. Right, get all the boats together. Get them here. You guys wait there. Oh, God. This is going to be so... They've taken... Oh, they're just about to take the capital. Fine. Merge. Land. 35%... Wait, they took the capital. We've still got 35% war score. Excuse me? Oh, okay. Hang on. Suddenly, things are looking pretty good here. Right. Uh, that's the leader of the Roman legions. Virgilius with his four... Le oh, fucking good God. Fine. Um, Let's get Adam on the center of this one, then. Let's get Adam, Barad, and this guy, Abdul Wahib. On ours, we'll obviously... Wait, wait, wait. On ours, we'll lead the center. And then we'll take some of the other weaker commanders with us. In fact, could we maybe even hire some commanders pretty urgently right now, if you don't mind? Um, There we are. The, 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 the whatever he is. The Tresor of Normandy. Welcome aboard. Let's get all of these guys here. Commander of... Of... Or... Or... or, or I don't know how you say that, but welcome aboard either way. Bring them... Bring them here. Set them as commanders. And then we actually stand a goddamn fighting chance. Right, here we go. So those guys have landed... Kind of expecting them to lose, to be completely honest with you. In fact, I was kind of banking on it. I'm hoping they'll do just enough damage so that we can attack and, and win. They're only Roman Legion, so I don't mind too much. You know, it's not like we're, we're throwing away good Catholic men and women. Well, I think actually we are, but that's okay. Right. Oh, these commanders are so much better. My God, there we go. Okay. Extremely. Let's get Guy. Let's get Roberto. Reinforce. Come on. Come on. There we go. We've got him. We've actually got him. Wow. Okay. Oh, no. There's a God. Oh, my God. Oh, there we go. We've done it. Oh, my God. We defeated the Celtic gods. Take take back the capital. No, no, no. Chase them down. Because they can. Because we, we move faster than them. We're angels, for God's sake. Or at least extremely is. Blessed by an angel. We can get over here. They're going to reinforce into us. They're not only going to take the river crossing. Look at that god. is so strong. He's so strong. We captured one of them. Actually, remember the Pantheon. We've got one of their demigods in our prison. Oh, this, this is good. Take back our own capital. Lose a trade patient. No, not an eye for an eye. Well, I mean, that's literally exactly what I'm doing right now, an eye for an eye. This is all vengeance for Brother Lubbergat and, of course, for the for the Knights Templar and for everyone else. They've uh, they've they've attacked and destroyed very well. Thank you. Do the best troop symptoms. Let's get on these boats. Let's go back for our war goal. Are they going to be able to scramble that many men again? I mean, even if they do, we've still got some money kicking around here. Oh, 91 gold per month. That's expensive. Who'd have thought war is expensive, huh? Let's quickly get these. I'm, I'm going to have to start assaulting then. Just, just sort of go wild here. Um, otherwise, I'm a little bit concerned... Crate of steel ingots. Well, thank you. Stop this immediately. Hang the culprits. We are. These are still Christian men and women. They're not. They're demons. They're druidic demons. These ones are demons luciferian. These ones are demon druidic. Oh, no. We're going to have to purge this realm after we've conquested it as well. Not conquest. Liberated. Liberated. We're returning it back into Catholic hands. Take them all. Box of incense. Thank you. Just what I didn't want. Come on. Come on. Oh. Oh. Get out of Sardinia. Once again, it is returned to Catholic hands. And finally, you thought I wasn't going to do it, but absolutely I am. Let's also, let's, let's take it. Let's take the whole thing. Satan the Betrayer. No troops. No troops. I'll take Corsica as well. Thank you. Gracefully accepted. Knights of Sardinia want the land back. Oh, man. I, I, I mean, I want to, but 
Last time we gave it to them, they lost it almost instantly. And there's no guarantee they won't just lose it instantly again. I'm sorry, my friends. I feel like we're a Holy Order too. You know, we're a Holy Order too. We've been doing the most for the Catholic world out of all of them. What are they going to do? They're going to take it. They're going to give us a bunch of gold. In fact, it seems greedy almost to not put these lands to use in defense of the Catholic... I'm sorry. I'm sorry, my friends. You have already... You've ha I've given it you once before, and you failed. We need these to go on the offensive at long last. We're not the leader of the siege. Wait, is someone else trying to take these? Oh, everybody. Everybody is trying to take this stuff. Damn it, we're sort of in the middle of a, a bit of a, a bit of a tussle here. My god, and Satan's capital is also sieged down. Glad they accepted the Knights Templar are coming to join us against, obviously, Satan. I mean, you kind of expect them to. That almost seems like their duty, huh? Not the leader of the siege, but we do we did get 14%. And why are we suddenly not the leader of the siege, huh? Right, well, we can't do anything here besides waiting for these currently existing wars to end. Yeah. They've lost their they've lost their stuff. Although, now Corsica, we've got 100 percent Uh He's gone. Satan the Betrayer is unlanded. He still exists. He's still lurking in the underground. Where is he now? He's on He's on Palermo. He's hiding out in Asgard. In the lands of Asgard under Balder. We need to hunt him down and destroy him. We need to hunt him down and destroy him. And, and that's exactly what I plan on doing here. Hang on. Let's go. Uh, what is it? Corsica. History. Uh, Satan the Betrayer. Mark his special interest. I think tomorrow we're, we're going to go on a, a little bit of our own personal day as well there. To destroy the ultimate evil from our realm. While visiting the monastery at which my order has convened this time, I join my fellow lay members by dutifully performing the task required for us. Do we take the crown of thorns? It should be mine, or should I say it should be returned to the true defenders of the faith. 50% chance of gaining the trait ambitious as well. Is this a Christian thing to do? Uh, but to be fair, I feel like if we don't defend it, this crown is just going to fall into the hands of infidels. I feel if we don't do this, we actually got ambitious too, which I think is appropriate in this scenario. God's blessing upon thee. Thank you. Hopefully that, I mean, it's, it's understandable why we would do this, huh? Let's start planning, the, I mean, start planning the theft of artifacts is our middle name, really. Grab it and run. Bribe the abbot. We could pay him. We could ask him, hey, I'll give you 300 gold and we will defend this for eternity. What's he going to say? Come on. He accepted it. The abbot accepted it and we are now a proud owner of the crown of thorns. Or I should say the proud defender. The abbot agreed. We basically just paid to, to be the defender of this. Incredible stuff. We've gotten ourselves Sardinia. We pushed back Alba. We ended up pushing back the Russian Pantheons. We didn't quite get our war with Olympus, but that's going to be a long-term play. Like I said, I want to remove them entirely from Italy with one foul sweep. We're still fabricating claims with our new Chancellor as well. Thank you for watching. This has been a very... We've actually, we're actually starting to make progress here. And you know what? Let's put the cherry on the cake. By founding a new kingdom. What do we need? 300 gold? Easy. No problem. Let's get ourselves that 300 gold. Thank you. That'll do it. Y'all strike of the mutilator. So this is what we inherited. They, they were also trying to conquer us. Satan there. Now, unfortunately, Asgard did get half of Corsica. In fact, it was that dude. So, oh no, it's Svein, apparently. We'll try and grab that one as soon as we can. They want to hire us. Of course we shall. But first, the kingdom of the Scions of the First Dawn. And that. I think is a great place to leave it. Thank you for watching. This has been a great day for Catholicism. We have we have buffed up the realm massively. Our fortress is almost there. We're at currently 48% on that. Hopefully, we will see that soon. And we've rebuilt ourselves. We've, we've re retaken Sardinia. Obviously, we've got to do a big old got to do a big old crusade on that one too. But that's okay. Or at least a cleanse, I should say. We've got we've got to go on a big old um. What's the right word for it? Cleanse is a bad word. You shouldn't really use that in the context of removing uh, particular ethnicities from around, huh? What would we call it? We call it uh, an intervention, perhaps. Thank you, of course, to the insane top tier level patrons who made this series possible in the first place. Big thanks to Alpha Scott, Fasuna Kirito, Atmos, His Average Gamer 419, Bacon Kitten, Sadini, Crazy Pack Croesus, Donald, Fukundo Vasquez, Fluffinata, Fungus King, Gogolus, Harik, Jimbo, Josh Lindine, Tesla, Justin Wallace, Kanan Carter, Michael Mullen, Mr. Smug, Muskratful, Nathan Flores, Necrofelon, Powers Presley, Scott, Skaz, Shayek Sinclair, Sirth All the Swedes, Dennis the Manus, The Forsaken One, T Bay Cruz, Tom Terry 18, Tyler Kendall, and Vacuous Bacchus. Thank you for your support the Insanity Lovers on Patreon. Thank you for making this channel possible in the first place. And thank you for, hopefully, enjoying some more extremely Deus Vault, the most Christian man who's ever lived. And a thank you has to go out, of course, to Asro, Adam Person, Akari, Andrew Wilson, Attila, Bordoon, Ben Trope, Betamus Max, Beta Valerian, Chris, David Van Diepen, Don, Don Connie 7 easier to pronounce name, Exploding Knees, Fraser Brennan, Gabriel Faulkner, Gabriel Van Ders, Gaz, Genji Zerka, Grey, Haji Damar, Hancock, Isaac Grey, Irish, Isaac, Israel, Jacob Wolf, Jay Lara, James Barnes, Jason, Jose, Yohan DeVries, John Holiday, Jordan Campbell, Joseph Beard, Justin Plot, Justin Walters, 
Lemons, Lemon Star, that's me, Llewellyn Thomas, Luke Wallace, Matthew, Monty, Nathaniel Lindbergh, Nick, Noah Gallimore, Pan Samu, Pant Pearl, Peyton Nenisar, Russian Olgar, Billionaire, The Bloody Knight, The Insane Pickle, Wesley Grayson, Will Wade, Wolfie, Yorker, Zach Pillar, and Zico 2. See you guys all tomorrow for the next installment.